yeah. So how did that happen? Well, let me case, let the round begin. Oh, <laughs> 
There's more than enough net to pop it, that's all fine. Looks like Nyan is rushing straight to the cherry. It happens to run three marbles in one part of the map. Lucky for him. The loot board is still staying back home. First marble getting away from Yon. He has an opportunity to pick up a second as well. Yon may have also gone for a third. It doesn't seem like Luigi is particularly in the mood to contest it right now. He still needs to get used to this layout. Now Luigi's going for some marbles of his own. Two convenient in position close to by each other. But that's not what he's interested in right now. He's bypassing that. And heading to the one Yon's trying to get after. First marble is in for Nyon, but Luigi has managed to take the second from it. The one he's trying to dig out. While also going after the third. This is what Luigi was fighting his time to do. Nyon has now decided to seek alternative options. Going to collect the marbles Luigi was fought by first. Well, what's he doing right now? He just he just wasted a feather. Is he okay? Ah, ah, he used a bit of a convention with the spice. It's a it's a doable mistake. Not a mistake I've made before. I don't, I've actually made it several times before. We see a mutual better, as they both try and secure control of that marble in specific. The volatile people could be dangerous for them both right now, forcing them both to get away from the marble, and forcing the second yellow marble to be dropped. This just up the stakes! Now, the, now there are no bitters left for anyone, but it looks like Yon is in a better position to take control of these marbles. Unless Luigi can browse get a response to this comment, which I don't think he's going to be able to. And there we have it. Yon getting away with that marble. And all set. I love it. Luigi has now finally scratched together 39 Pikmin. Collecting anything and everything. Get as many Pikmin as he can along the way. And, well, not, and that was a walk by the way. I thought he was doing this nice. But now he's spicing up. And given Yon no longer has any bitters to counter the spicy. He's going in for it now, folks. He's going for the steal. The first steal of the tournament. This advantage is going to be very difficult to beat. Not only has he brought almost his full squad to bear, it's bigger than Yon's and it's spicy with no better to counter it. And of course, he's grabbing as many cherries as he can on the way back home. Yon thought it was going so well for him, but then Luigi had to make his play. I think Luigi's really coming into his own with his unique strategy now. Not quite, he was just completely innocuously boarding him. And then suddenly strike out from the shadows and do something really good on board your opponent. While they can't react. 
Get them to underestimate you, subconsciously, if not consciously. Luigi now further securing the marble by parking a bunch of Pikmin in front of it. A bunch of them now chasing your back. And this ended... completely predictably. Past the point of no return. If you ask me, the point of no return was probably when Nyon wasted better. Luigi board two, Nyon zero. Wow, ah, the quality of my commentary really can vary depending on how tired I am. Yeah, we got this layout. Possibly the most angular layout of angle names yet. Then obviously, then it's not all that. Definitely not to be underestimated with I believe with I believe 500 HP. If you don't get that direct route to the noggin, they can prove pretty tough to deal with early on. Still a number of pickups. I say tough to deal with, it's not like you'll lose on the squad. But you you may lose like a pigment or two. And if you really are not focused on what to do it. Not to mention the fact that there are those giant ball wards, the old red ball wards, and the pellet posies, the ones that still change colour. Dollar time people, or the creature ward. Not sure when it's going to come to the most useful. If anything, if he uses it here, it could be helpful to me on by dealing damage to the ball guard. Luigi understands this, and that's why he's hanging on to it now. But he summons it now, given Neon is trying to take on that ball head on. But it has the effect that I described a few seconds ago. In dealing significant damage to one of the ball dogs and outright killing the other. And as I said, it helped Neon a lot more than it potentially hurt him. Potentially it did hurt. This could actually be given a pretty significant leg up over Luigi. I say this, but now Luigi's brought in the first marble of the, of the round. But now, there's a withering blowhog at home to Luigi. And all that effort he put into flowering up his squad is going to be squandered. Is... Of course, so it's going to be happening anyway, but the ball will take him off the uh, this was a bad time for Neon to walk up to the scene. We have a bit of Neon, as he gets he gets it back immediately from the showers. But yeah, you need the Pikmin. He just didn't have the Pikmin. Now he's gonna have the Pikmin. Not only that, but he's going to have an extra spicy. Having one extra bitter over another, over your opponent is obviously a very important thing, but I would actually argue like having a spicy over your opponent is even more important. Because you counter a spicy with a bitter, but if you have more spices than the opponent has bitters, past the point, obviously, you're going to have spices they can't counter. And spices, by not counted by bitters, changes the game to all too many times. Neon is now leveled with superior 
numbers to Dolphus Steel, the same way Luigi did to him in the first round. Call it poetic irony, or just call it a smart decision. But it's what's happening either way. However, Luigi is here to respond, and it looks like John is out not only out of bidders, but Luigi has two bidders over him. Not meant for this steal, forcing a lot of attention to Luigi. But this is the cost. His great advantage that I was just describing is an advantage no more, because he squandered his bidders. Now Luigi is still leveraging his spicy. As the only thing Neon can do against that is the sheer numbers. And it looks like the marble is on the move. But significant damage down to Luigi as well. He is going to plug all those Pikmin back out while being harassed by those blues. He uses his last bitter, and I, it's not going to be enough. He didn't bitter them all. Split tactic. Classic split tactic again. And he knows. He's going to just make sure he's going to pop out. Yes, he did. He's not there on his bitter. He can just go straight at him. He's going to be more difficult. Really an insult to him. Neon has taken several seconds out of his time to apply his final spicy and get the blue roll even faster. This has allowed Luigi to pull possibly a critical max. I would not have done that about Neon. Yeah, I really wouldn't have done that. I'm just seeing why. At least a Pikmin can be trade with each other, which means there's only one Pikmin bringing it back to Luigi, giving Neon ample time to use it wisely. Claim it, and now, now he's doing just that. Go. But Luigi now has three yellows in the back. He couldn't try and get his marble back, or he could try and snag an easy yellow and finish this for him. But I don't think he's going to have enough time to do that at this rate. Yeah, he's definitely not. It's a home stretch, and Luigi does not have Pikmin in his squad. He's squadless. Oh, would you look at that? Look. A little celebratory bouquet. Except that picnic. And the losing streak is over. Luigi Board 2, Nyon 1. Still a labyrinth, but it's not randomly generated anymore. That should have made things a bit fairer. That little congregation of machine drugs. Gonna be a good early boost of numbers for Yon, even though it's just three additional Pikmin. The three additional Pikmin is a 15% advantage when you both have 20. Ad advantages by 15% are never something you just want to throw away. Oh, they give two? I, I'm not even questioning. I must be thinking. 
Oh no, 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 I must be thinking of the Poco, it's not the C, not the Pikmin. I could be wrong on that as well. Okay, then the advantage is even larger, 30% advantage. Oh, no, no, no. I think that's a important theme, actually. Nyon always has significantly more Pikmin than Luigi, but does not use them as effectively as Luigi does. We've all got the bigger numbers, but they're always at home or something. So now we've got Neon bringing back two marbles, two yellows, and he's bringing back another one. And the bread is about to snag that one. Neon saves it just in time. Neon saves it just in time. No half measures with these bread bobs, folks. They're nasty. You wanna go look away, you gotta play hard for it. Hard like the marble. We now see Luigi trying to run away from Yon. Into the blue cherries on the way too. Happens on the marble. Now, Yon is going to just make it that way. But that doesn't seem to be on his mind right now. Mind right now. He is focusing on killing the bread bugs and hoping to kill the one that don't the marble. But now, a watery blowhog is killing the weakest pig and he's not even noticing. We're seeing his squad size, we're seeing his numbers go down in real time. He rocks up at Neon's under like six Pikmin, trying to steal, hoping Neon won't notice, as Neon tries to do the same thing to Luigi, but with much more, many more Pikmin. It's a stuff a little, a little hideout. He's on the watch, he's on Luigi watch. Waiting in the wings. He's the marble. Luigi does manage to do it. Oh no he doesn't. They're still at it. They're hiding behind the marble. Luigi doesn't see them. Oh no he doesn't see them anyway. He's just the first power up. But it looks like when Yon still failed, we really succeeded, and I was not expecting that to be the outcome. But succeeded. Began to succeed. Now that's what I'm say. As Marvel number three is in for Yon! Luigi only has one yellow marble to his name. Could be seeing a comeback, folks. When Yon wins this one, the score is equalized. Just needed some time to come into his own. As is expected on the way. Yeah, still I need one game. Luigi's trying his hardest to prove that. He needs to rest control of those overly aggressive legs. But it's too late. He walked out of his run. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong red buck down. Luigi could have rested control of them. It's too late now. Wait, no, it's not. Neon doesn't have enough Pikmin on the marble to save it. Oh. <laughs> Look at the red bug! Trying to go after the very marble. But Neon fails to save the three Pikmin with the red bug dragged in. Oh, well, yoink. Oh, 
Don is all out of sprays. George still has a bit on two spices. 18 to 18. If Luigi plays his cards right here, there's no way he can go wrong. Of course, Neon could always get the pigment. You bet Luigi's gonna want to do that as well. Luigi loses the pigment from the Sea Wave. He's now priming up. Oh! That could be just what Neon needs. A boss 10. And another boss 10. But Luigi also gets a boss 10. Will he get a knockout as well? Ah uh, no, he gets a snitch bug. Dream on Luigi, dream on, says the game. Leverages his bitter when Neon has none. But it looks like Neon's seal was the faster one. The earlier one. But Luigi simply lacks the means to maintain his small lead for now. Maintain his small lead right now. And here we go. The equalizing move. Neon 2, Luigi Board 2! Oh. Hopefully this time we'll get the gate layout. Oh, yep, there's the gate. <laughs> First showcase of the gate. It's our pre tournament testing of the gate had a ridiculous amount of HP. This has now been corrected. Normally, when it comes to the warpath, in terms of what the final map, there's not much to be impressed about. Its simplicity is its main selling point. But that all changes on the gate layout. Looks like Luigi is being much more proactive here than Yarn on the killing the enemies and winning him in front. He is catching up, however. He's a little bit less responsibly. So these are people who do their own thing. So he's doing shade drops. And he's boring the shower. It's pretty hard to make him a little bit more slow. But Luigi has Baldur's now. More critical than it used to be. As now he's flowered up, as he tends to do. And here is one of the other main points, more hot. Despite having more pictures, 
Maybe he doesn't really need to follow himself that much, but there's just one marble. Although that said, it's only the one picking carry in it. Maybe he can snag it off a little Break all the eggs and join for Luigi's precious nectar. But now Luigi is breaking down the gate. This immediately signals an aggressive... I don't think we can be dead in time. The rock storm. I would not go on. Luigi seems to be firing up the rest of the squad. Which is going to be all first to air in the predator's pack. The gate is now down. Roll the storm. They predictably don't do anything. Going on here. Eric now the potato is beat out. Of course, none of the protection across the field. Well, the original protection is going to be done for all. He's still made his way over to Yon Onion. Are going around. The third level now in for Luigi, as Neon is about to get his third one as well. Score again at 3 3 and we're to do swarm. We'll be invented specifically so we can play out particularly close matches to a more satisfying conclusion. models in So, the distribution of the models is a lot less round. So, there's one. This will be the first model of the, of the round, Luigi. And he's gonna need it. First marble indeed is in for Luigi. Now I'm not having as easy a time as you Oh, oh mold it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that much, but definitely going to do something. And it moves to 
collect his first model, which he still hasn't done, even as Luigi is bringing his second though. Look at those cherries falling off the top there. What is the one doing? Oh, he went in there with two pickles. And now he's just getting fast around like a little play thing. But he did force a wasted bitter. He did he did get the root of a wasted bitter. Maybe that was the whole plan. Doing the Pikmin match equivalent of uh, talking the talk to get your opponent thinking about the war. But if they thought about it a little more, you evidently are not going to be able to do that. The Ouija board seems to be relying a lot on perception. And it's a very mixed bag as to whether it works. I'm have to roll on the opponent with two potions to the opponent. So notice something that is very easy to throw this ball. If you just look at if you just look, look at that part of the screen. You might be a good bitter after all. You might be a good bitter after all. Oh, it was a good bit. That was a very good bit. Pull them this next one. Pick them this next one around there. Pull that next one out. now. And now that's two marbles going back to the non. And none for Luigi. I think I'm going to go back to Luigi. And that one's going to be the winner. Non needs to stop that marble. More Pikmin on it. We ought to get control back. He needs to, he needs to get back in control. I don't think he can. I think this is it. He's trying desperately to stall. That one specific marble, and that's the wrong marble. He doesn't have enough pigment to take take on the right marble anyway. Luigi board three. Three. Here. 
rising out of 32 taking to the Luigi's 25 and the Luigi's still at home. I'd say it's fun. The game is currently pretty far in Beyond's favor right now. Of course, that's always what Luigi wants for Beyond and us to think. This one's going pretty steady right now, actually. Luigi has another, another marble, and Yon, and Yon does not have the weapon on Yon to contest it. So he's running back. Yon's got a lot better in a very short amount of time, but not wasting what he's got. Marble returns, and my marble returns, we now need the marble returns to the whole part of the ground. It takes any pigment that we're carrying in with it. In a literal sense, not a pigment of yours, because they don't lie. Maybe to add injury to injury. And all this time, despite defending against the full throttle push from Yon, Luigi Board played the long game. Luigi Board 4, Yon 3! He has Neon on the back foot. But Luigi is actually just going to kick back. He knows he's up against someone. 
It can be a real match for him. Is not given the appropriate level of consideration. All the blow arms are now here. They are off the I am not. And now you actually have a reason to potentially like it. Because ten pellets they drop would be a big help for your squad. It allows you to pack a lot more punch, and a lot more dig, and a lot more parry, and a lot more everything. Thirty-seven to thirty-seven, but Luigi's flower. Luigi doing some preemptive damage control. Puppy Bulldog. No time flat. Luigi is Marbles to two. Tries to snipe the shilling. Does not go so well. He retreats. As marble number three is in for me. Marble number four, almost there. But this is a very bad situation for Luigi right here. Even if Leon hadn't been hurt, there was no way Luigi would have won that engagement. There is absolutely no way out of this outcome. So it's equalized once again. Neon 4. Luigi Board 4. Blowing up your opponent. It's always worth the possibility of getting yourself blown up. And either way, you get to see explosions. Neon's opening act is one bomb in the Ricky's face. 
Luigi preparing to retaliate. This has now become the characteristic slugging match, or should I say, slugging match. Slugging match. Slugging those bombs at each other. Luigi's trying to go for the drop rather than the throw. The drop is the most controllable. The drop is the, one of the more controllable ways of using bomb rocks. But it's one of the least effective. There are three main ways to use bomb rocks against your opponent. The drop, the throw, and the kamikaze. All with their associated upsides and downsides. Luigi Board seems to know the most in favor of the drop. But now we see four of these against him, reducing the damage while Pikmin, as he was currently being stolen from. A bitter from Yon, a Luigi board reciprocates. And now it's uh where's Luigi going? Looking for more bomb rocks? No, he's killing the anno people. Maybe not the best move here. As Neon bitters the beetles and the pigment alike. Spicy's up. Tries to kill the beetles while bitter. So it's a lead Luigi with nothing. The water is blown. How's clear on the other one? The only one that's up is another bomb. Luigi avoids it, but it does force him away from his pocket. Another bomb for John. He is committing to the bombs real hard now, seeing how big an advantage he's able to get you in there. Puts the bomb between Luigi and his Pikmin, forcing him to stay put. Buying me on time. Time to do what? Time to get another bomb, of course. Except he's not doing that. Neon is heading home and getting electrocuted. Luigi is actually now has to now take three more bomb hits than Neon. He could exploit this if he wants to. He doesn't really have enough Pikmin to go to go to yellow normal mode. Of course, with those Anno people have to change. But now Nyan has brought all of his Pikmin to bear. One good hit with a bomb rock could end it right here. The number one golden rule of hostile territory is don't bring all your Pikmin with you. But Nyan is doing that regardless. I'm not sure whether this is a test of his ignorance or to his confidence. Maybe a bit of both. But the timer is running down anyhow. Now he's trying to get a water and drill on top. This one has another bomb. Bomb is out, Luigi your boy. <laughs> and Yon's got another one. Except for the chain reaction with the other bomb. And he needs to, he needs to watch where he's stepping. 
But the watery boiler gets in safe and sound. As Luigi intercepts me on steel. Despite the bomb box being dropped in the way. And that killed all of Nyon's pictures as well as the Luigi, so it was a net positive. It's all Luigi here. And he's bringing it back. Nyon may have numbers, but on hostile territory, numbers don't mean what they mean in any normal map. As the timer is running down to one minute left. Now less than a minute. Unless someone picks up a yellow marble or finishes a steel before the timer is done, the end result will be a draw. Luigi knows this and I'm not sure if that does. But they're both running back home to do something about that timer. And no yellows in sight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The first draw in Sprout House history. And they're both very open layouts. One of the layouts is easy to tell apart from the other by the fact that we just saw the pellet posies are out of bounds. Luigi is playing the numbers game here better than Yon is. 28 to 20, pretty big advantage. What is Luigi doing? Luigi's focus new arena seems to be on getting those war four walls in. Neon is taking more of a marble area to focus. That said, we need to use the marble area right now. In fact, he's trying to see one right now. That he's just succeeded in doing, with it by a slim margin. The margins as slim as that are easily counter. Luigi's got to pack more Pikmin onto it if he wants to see it through. Leon is now going up to that model first. Making a clear part to that one as well. Now Leon has the normal screw on. 36 to 30. As Luigi's two marble grabs from earlier are now beginning to pay off. The 
Like, they're both stretchy and squad very thin. I think they're both going to have to be put back home very soon. Luigi's already got her. Yom is... Uh, picking up. Along the way, everyone's got everything he can on the way back. Three models for Luigi, one for Yom. Well, now Yom gets a second, as Luigi's picking up his fourth. Yom needs to find that model, stop it in his tracks, or he's history. Instead, he's gone straight to Luigi's onion. Why has he done this? Why didn't he just continue looking for the marble? His mistake has now cost him the entire match. He can fit us, but it's not like there's anything he can really do at this point, unless Luigi is severely misplaced right now. Yon's trying to rush back and grab some more pigment as fast as he can. But he didn't have enough in the first place to get that marble far enough away. He's going to get a 6 pigment, but there's nothing to Luigi's 20 of this right now. He still has a bitter, but that is not going to save him. One false move is all it takes. To see victory torn out of your hands. This is a lesson that Nyon has now learned the hard way. With a final score of 5 4, Luigi Board has won the match. Yeah, yeah, 5.5, 4.5, but does, does, does the point 0.5 really matter when we're having the juice roll? Anyway. With this victory, Luigi Ward advances to the quarterfinals. Where his opponent will be? SBU. Meanwhile, Nyon becomes our second participant to enter the leaf bracket. That is all for this one. So, in preparation for the match that is about to happen between Cherno and yours truly, stay tuned!